we perceive the need to go somewhere or be somewhere, but we can't seem to get there fast enough. We, we feel like if we don't get there, everything will fall apart. Or if we don't feel that way, we certainly act that way. If, if I can't get there, then everything will fall apart. I used to be chronically late to everything that I went to, and I went through a time management training thing, which was a good thing, by the way. I went through the time management training thing, and they taught us how disrespectful it was to show up late to things. And so I just became obsessed. I had to be early to everything that I went to. Have you ever been in a hurry and got behind someone who didn't want to move? Oh, I hate to admit how many times I have done that. We used to say that this was old people, but some grandmas will run you off of the road. Have you ever seen that? that that's the truth. I come back to that little old lady that had to be a grandma that just never said anything to me. She just cut in line in front of me at the McDonald's. If you aren't careful, the stress of that can cause you to jump out and pass even when it is not safe. Have you ever done that? See, you don't have to admit it because you're not behind the camera. Sometimes, and, and when I went through counseling and the counselor was like, Mike, do you really think that that person knows that you are in a hurry and is setting up in the corner waiting for you to come up to them so that they can pull out in front of you and drive slow and make you late. Do you really think that that's happening? And I was like, well, of course not. Of course not. They're not doing that. They don't even know who I am. And it's like, then why do you act like they are? Why do you act that way? I was in the situation, we had a truck and a van and a car and a pickup, and the pickup was the culprit. Cars behind me was weaving in and out like they were going to pass. They thought they needed to be somewhere. They, they thought they needed to be somewhere, and they're weaving in and out, and it's like, do you not see this line of traffic that is here? If you try to go out around them, you're never going to get out around them. We can do the same thing with God. We can get so stressed over what we perceive to be a hurry that we begin, listen to me, we begin to pressure God that he needs to do something. I know people that will intentionally slow down. <laughs> they will intentionally slow down if you are pushing them from behind. Maybe God does that too. Maybe God says, listen, I'm not going to get in a hurry, and if you keep doing that, I will just stop and make you sit and wait. Maybe that's the best thing he can do for us. Because if we try to go past him, that ends in very, very bad consequences. And so we've got to be careful that we're not letting anxiety drive us literally till we are driving past God. Come back with us next week. We got more to share.